Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson, and welcome to another 3-Minute Thriller, where we give you professional development in 3 minutes or less. In today's 3-Minute Thriller, you'll learn how to use Google Forms to create adaptive formative assessments. By adaptive, I mean that the next question will depend on the answer the student gives to the current question he or she is on. So for example, here is a new Google Form. Google Form, uh, the, the, the template's changed a bit. Uh, Google changed it up, so it might look a little different, but this is the new one. So I've created three sections right now. When you create a section by going to this button right here and clicking it, you can see that it says add section when I hover, hover over it. And right now I've done that twice to create three sections. This is the first section that was there. I clicked on that button, this little button right here, and created this section. And then I created this section. So, they, so clicking on it twice gave me two more sections for a total of three. Then what I did is I clicked on the section and created a question. I created a multiple choice question. You can see who is a main character in Toy Story. And I created Buzz Lightyear, Wally, and Rapunzel for answers. Now we all know that Buzz Lightyear is the, the correct answer. And so if the student gets that, I want the student to go to section two. Good job. Buzz Lightyear is the main character in Toy Story. Let's try a different movie. I type this into the description. And then we would go on and ask a question of who is the main character in Inside Out. Now, if the student gets this wrong, picks Wally or Rapunzel, I don't want that student to go to this one. I want the student to go to section three. It gives them the answer. Buzz Lightyear is a main character. Let's try this a different way. Who is not a character in Toy Story? And then Woody, Ham, Rex, Ray Ralph. Ray Ralph would be the correct answer. And they could keep going on and on and on like that. So how do you do this? Well, first thing is you create your sections, like I said. Then you put a question in each section. Then what you do is you go in each section, once you click on it, these three buttons will pop up. You click on that, and you go to go to a section based on answer. When I do that, you can see that this pops up right here. So if the student picks Buzz Lightyear, I want the student to go to section two, where it says, good job, Buzz Lightyear is the main character. So I'll go ahead and choose go to section two. But for if they pick Wally or Rapunzel, I want them to go to section three and see the answer and maybe get some more Toy Story practice. So I'm going to go ahead and click on section three, section three. And then you would just continue doing that for all of the other questions where you want the, the students to go. This makes the form of assessment adaptive and it gives them a little bit more instruction while they are taking the assessment. Let me know if you have any questions.